All right, y'all. So this right here, just another random thought video. Uh, so the random thought video I did yesterday, I ended up killing some ghost enemies in Dragon's Dogma 2 with a physical sword. And in the first Dragon's Dogma, that's not possible. Now, for my Dragon's Dogma veterans, I know y'all know this information. This video is not for y'all. I'm really talking to the people who started with uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. Just showing them uh, how different the second game is to the first one. Um, so I know some of y'all probably saying right now, well, in Dragon's Dogma 2, you got a little bit of magic on your sword. Bye, y'all. I also got a little bit of magic on this sword. You cannot kill ghost enemies with a physical weapon in the first Dragon's Dogma. The first Dragon's Dogma required you to do a little bit more thinking. Which that's why uh, when I first started playing it, it ended up becoming my favorite game because you, you really had to outsmart some of these enemies, man. Like, uh, for instance, you know, in BBI, you got the race. They are red. And, man, when they latch on, they do a lot of damage. How do I outsmart them? I put on the Immortals armor, the armor I got on now. That way, when they latch on, don't even matter. Like, that Immortals armor heals through their damage. So, I was running around BBI. <laughs> I was running around BBI with race attached to me. Because <laughs> they, they couldn't kill me. So, and you know, uh, you got to have the right arguments and stuff as well. I honestly can't remember what arguments I had that time when I tried it, but I'm pretty sure it was some. It was pretty much all the defense arguments. That's the type of style that I play. I always play this tanky defense character. So, uh, that's how I dealt with the wraiths. Uh, you also could deal with the ghost enemies by doing this, picking up something and throwing it against the wall if you don't have on the immortals on. You know, like I say, Dragon's Dogma 1 required you to do a lot of thinking. Uh, and with that being said, that don't mean that I hate Dragon's Dogma 2. No. I love Dragon's Dogma 2. But it's just some things that they changed. And I understand why they changed it. Uh, you know, to get more players into the game. But anyway, with that, like and subscribe if you ain't. Comment down below if you don't. I'll see y'all later.